Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a real app, a real website using MDB and Angular. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, in the previous video, I showed you the easiest way uh, how to start using MDB using a MDB zip package. So basically downloading the zip package and zipping it is uh, installing. Today, I want to show you more convenient way, um, which allows you both uh, to initialize and publish your project. It also allows you to create a database. So um, basically you can build the full um, app, right? I mean the backend and the frontend. So um, let's start with installing um, MDB CLI because this, this is the tool we're gonna um, use today. Um, in order to install MDB CLI, we have to have Node and NPM installed. So if you don't have Node.js yet, please navigate to Node js.org and download the latest version install it i'm not gonna do that because i already have it on my computer but basically it's available on all platforms including mac os unix and so on so just download the recommended version and once you have it simply go to mdbgo.com and run this comment i'm gonna do it for you so you could see how does it work um, if you click on it it's gonna copy this command you can also uh, simply type npm install minus g mdb cli so you don't even have to go to this uh, website you can just open a command line open terminal and uh, simply run it so that's gonna install you the newest version of mdb cli um, if you don't have mdb accounts um, so you don't have account uh, on mdbootstrap.com nor mdbgo.com then i strongly encourage you to create one uh, it's free absolutely free so you can just create uh, your account on one of these uh, portals or you can do mdb register so this was this, this also allows you to create an account uh, once you have just type mdb login provide your username and password Oops, again, MDB login. Yeah, so now I'm login. Now I want to show you how to initialize a new project. So instead of downloading package, zip, and so on, what you can simply do is just in MDB init. And that's gonna show you the list of available starters, and there are a lot of them. So there are backend, frontend. We are interested, uh, even a WordPress. We are interested in MDB5 and Angular because that's what we're gonna be building today. So what happens is that inside the current folder we've got this project here. So let's open this up. I'll open with code and. Let's start building our app. Uh, meantime, I'm gonna get into this folder and type npm install. So that's gonna install me all the dependencies. So as you can see, I'm gonna get uh, the a note module folder here uh, inside this. So now it's checking the dependencies, it will install it. Um, meantime, what I want to do, uh, I'm gonna show you here it is node modules now. So uh, meantime, I'm gonna navigate to mdbootstrap.com, go to the Angular section, and I'm gonna search for navbar. So this is the this is the component I'm gonna start with. So here you have all the documentation. You have different examples you know, which you can use. So for the navbar, you have a basic example, but you can use the one with a brand, which is a brand of your company, logo, um, you know breadcrumbs, badges, uh, avatars, and, and many different options. So simply just choose uh, whichever you prefer. It's still installing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this one. Mm. At the same time, I'm gonna open a new command line over, over here uh, because I want to uh, generate a new component. Mm. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna type ng generate component and I'm gonna call it header so let's wait a few more seconds here okay now it's installed so I'm gonna close this terminal and I will be using this which is built in in a, um, Visual Studio code and just simply hit enter so that's gonna generate us a new uh, component which is available over here under source app and here we have app component so this is our starting component and a header which we just created so what we want to do we want to copy this code 
of the navbar we want to go to our header um, and we want to uh, basically paste it over here inside our header now uh, our header was automatically added to app component um, app module ts so it's header here header component import statement has been added automatically declaration and imports um, so uh, let's go to our app component and let's run npm run or start actually so this is going to compile our app and we will be able to see our app uh, in the live preview of um, in the, our browser so uh, let's see how the starter looks like and we were gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna replace this part with uh, our header so we'll start building our website um, with the header so um, let's wait for a few seconds yeah now it's ready so we can open our server here and this is starting page so this is the default one which you get when you when you open a starter let's get rid of it and, and let's start with uh, app header because this is how our component is called if we um, if we go here selector by default is app header obviously you can change it mm, now let's see what we're gonna have here so this is our number right you can see it here um let's do a few modifications here so what i want to do uh, i want to get this uh, fluid get rid of this fluid so this will basically make this container here mm, what else we have uh, let's uh, let's work on uh, on a color so i want to change the color of this navbar and we can do it by changing this class so bg light i'm gonna change it to bg white actually and let's quickly start stop here so let's go to colors if you go to navigation colors uh you're gonna see that you have different colors available so for example we could have bg warning and it's gonna use predefined a color let's stick to white uh one uh okay let's continue now uh, what we can add to our um, to our um, uh, website uh, we're gonna have a footer at the bottom but we're gonna get there uh, in a few seconds for now let's add main part um, and inside main let's use uh, grid so basically we are using grid like we would be using this in html so let's have a look at grid system so we, here we have these examples. If you don't know grid, please do check our other video where we uh, where we teach only the grid, bootstrap grid. Uh, for now, I just want to copy this part. So we have container, inside container, let's have this row. Um, actually, you know what, uh, let me type it from scratch. So I want to have a row and I want to have call md5 and I want to have also call md seven let me do five and a seven here and let's refresh the page so it's five and seven and obviously when we shrink what's gonna happen is that they're gonna be nested one below the other right so the five goes below seven um, or above seven and obviously the navbar becomes responsive collapsed so this is how it will be working on the mobile application now let's add some content into five and a seven part Mm, so uh, let's go to hover effect and here you're gonna see this basic example of this picture so uh, what we can do um, what we can do let me copy this div and let's replace this uh, five with uh, this hover effect and here it is so you can see that you have this hover effect over here we need some spacing over there uh, but uh, we're gonna take care of that a little bit uh, later now let's move to this seven part over here and for this um, we're gonna go to typography uh, so this is how you basically use different typography with an mtb uh, so we have classes uh, for different um, font styles um, so I strongly encourage you to go through this docs as you're gonna find a lot of uh, different options over here I'm gonna go with something basic so um, let's have some heading one so um, 
our website heading let's have some paragraph and let's add some lorem ipsum then let's actually make copy of it and in between it's gonna add a line so this is how it looks like now and it's high time to talk about spacing let's go to spacing docs so with a bootstrap you can easily work on a spacing so you can easily add mm, both margins and paddings with the use of simple classes so what we have here we have m for margin p for padding then you have top bottom uh, start and so for the left and the right depending whether it's uh, right to left or left to right mm, and then you have uh, axes like x axis and y axis so what we're gonna do what we're gonna add to our main class margin in y5 which is gonna add a nice margin from header and the footer which we're gonna add uh, by the end of this video so this is mm, taken care by this spacing so this is the class if we check it in the inspector you're gonna see that we have this um, main main and this orange is uh, our margin um, now let's quickly add some uh, margin to our heading class margin uh, sorry margin bottom three and class margin y3 so we are adding just uh, margin to the line and this will take care of the spacing between our um between our uh, paragraphs here right oh it's lagged a little bit it's too big so let's make it three and let's refresh now now it looks uh good uh what now let's add another another row so we have this row here let me collapse it and let's add row and i want to add three columns with the same size so i'm gonna do it with call md4 multiplied by three so as you might know uh, within a row the call size should sum up to 12 so here we have 4 8 12 so it's uh, working as expected and go to let's go to cards uh, documentation so then again you have a plenty of different options here ready to use i'm gonna go with something basic like this image with ripple effect so let me copy this one and i'm gonna paste it here i'm doing the multi cursor here so i'm actually typing it in three place at the same time so i'm just gonna paste it here and that should give me this nice cars over here um so uh yeah let's add some margin here so to the first row i'm gonna add class margin bottom five let's say and this will give us this margin over here now let me quickly replace these images Uh, just a small change and it already looks better mm, now let's add some buttons here so uh, again navigate to buttons and i'm gonna use the basic example so this one button over here and uh, so where is it uh, it's collapsed right here and after this paragraph i'm gonna add one button and i want to add another one here so i want this outline here so let me add it to this one let's see how it looks like they are too close definitely right so let me change the text read more and let add class you already know it so i'm gonna add margin and three and this will add that's gonna give me some spacing here as soon as it starts working oh sorry it's type i put it inside type obviously i should add it to class now it's better and let's do something fancy now let's add some icon over here so let's navigate to icons and here you're gonna find a list of different icons including the search so i will be searching for cart here you have a code if you click on the icon you're gonna have uh, this code over here as you can see it's changing so i'm gonna get uh oh this looks fancy by the way i'm gonna go with this one copy and paste it inside our button and i'm gonna do something like add to cart 
and probably yeah I need some margin here as well so I'm gonna add class over here margin and tool let's say yeah now it looks cool um, okay now what I want to uh, what I want to do is I want to add some footer so I'm gonna generate again component I'm gonna call it footer now and meanwhile I'm gonna search for some footer let's go to footer docs I'm gonna choose the basic one I'm gonna go to footer and same as with header I'm just gonna add like up header I'm gonna add app footer and let's see what's gonna happen oh I should also obviously start npm start so that's gonna compile uh, our project and uh, and then it's gonna uh, start server uh, what I want to also want to do I want to add some to our body so uh, let's go to our where it is index HTML body I'm gonna add class actually let me first show you this so this is our and this is our um, page right now and let me add uh, b g light to, to the background that's gonna give us a little bit more contrast between the uh, between these elements and uh, and the background so as you can see uh, we created this page in, in like 10 minutes or something now let me quickly show you uh, the very cool part which is deployment so what you have to do is simply type mdb publish Keep in mind this Angular project, pro project, right? So you don't need any special server and so on. You just type mdb publish. That's gonna ask you which package manager you want to use. I'm gonna choose the default one. And basically it will start doing the magic. So now uh, it's gonna try to uh, generate the bundles. Uh, it's gonna upload our project onto the web onto the MDB Go servers. Again, it's totally free, so uh, uh, please do not hesitate to give a try. So as you can see, it just compiled, now it uploaded, and now it's available here. Right away, our page is up and running on the internet, secured with SSL. So you can quickly send your a project to the customer, to your mates, team, colleagues from your project. You can even give access to the repository because this project has its own repository. If you go to mdbgo, uh, mdbgo.com and navigate to your dashboard, obviously after you log in, uh, you're gonna see that for each project you uh, can have a repository, you can create the repository here and then you can uh, give access to other uh, friends or colleagues uh, so we could both work on the same project i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask us uh, we'll be happy to help you thank you for watching and keep coding